Hello everyone, this is Michelle Patterson with Angel Souls and these are your July 2015 Angel Oracle Card Readings and I'm going to be using the Healing with the Angels Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue and if you would like to have a personal reading with me please visit my website at angelsouls444.com go to the services page and we will get you in line for a reading and I just ask that you pay attention to the wait time. Alright guys Hi there Capricorn, let's see what's going on for you for July 2015. Hopefully you're doing all right. Have fun this month. I just heard that. That wasn't me making it up. I actually just heard that. Have fun. This is your time for relaxation, which is not that big a stretch here in you know North America. This is typically, or at least in the United States, this is where people typically go on vacation and what have you. Even if you're not going somewhere, make time for rest. You need to make time for rest. Let go of stuff. You don't, <laughs> this is terrible to say this, but you don't always have to be right, you know? So if something's not worth hanging on to, if it's not worth the argument, let it go, okay? It's just pulling you down. What? Okay. You get a bonus card. Oh, that's funny. All right, let me tell you what just happened. So we have body care, which is an extension of what we were talking about last month. We have children and there's a big message coming through this month for a lot of signs that children messages are going to be coming through children focus focus on what's important do only what needs to be done right now spend the rest of the time in your serenity <laughs> yes give yourself some downtime guys not everything is a priority not everything's a priority you're allowed to have fun you're allowed to relax you're allowed to go to the beach or whatever you're going to be doing so we had that all happening then i felt the need to like pop out another card and here it is miracles if you get too stuck in your rut and too stuck in your routine you're going to miss this you're going to miss this because you're not going to be looking your head's going to be down in your work and the whole time there's something amazing happening right next to you and it's for you Gifts from God. It's like the gifts from God kind of thing. Solutions. For some of you, you might think it's a miracle that you can get away from work for a week and go on vacation. <laughs> but it can be done. It can be done. All right. So let's get back into this. So we had the body care and the children. So don't undo all your good things is what they're saying. Don't then come out of June and go into July ripping it up and staying up late and like getting yourself all stressed out again whatever there is a need for you to focus on children this month so this could be your own children but this might even if you don't have kids again the angels are working through the children these are young children in your case i i should reference the person it was on guy tv but somebody was talking about the phoenix generation so previously we had the indigo rainbow crystal children and the you know the viewpoints on that vary about when they started coming in but more recently like the kids being i don't even remember the dates like being born after 2010 they're the phoenix generation so they're the ones rising us up from the ashes kind of thing and I'm getting tingles. I, I just thought of an example. I, you know, I was just in Denver, and they at the airport they had this little train, and there was this little, these well, there were these three little boys who were like the cutest little things I've ever seen in my life. But one of them was maybe at best three years old, or something like that. And his energy, I could have sat next to this little boy all day. We didn't have to talk. We didn't have to do anything. I just wanted to sit next to him because he was just such a loving little creature. <laughs> and I'm sure his parents would be like, he's rotten. You know, but he, it would just, I don't know, when he looked at me, he just had this energy that it was like he could see into me. And I went, holy cow. Oh my gosh, he's one of, oh my gosh. You know, I'm not going to be in the airport being like, hey y'all, he's from the Phoenix generation. Look at this. This is cool. No, I didn't do that. But I just kind of sat there and I just paid attention and the message that he had for me was innocence that was the feeling I was getting off of him now you could be sitting there going Michelle every child has innocence <laughs> but this was different it was a different like this felt very um like it affected me and it was you know something for me to recapture my own innocence 
okay? So that, the reason why I'm telling you this whole long stinking story is so that you don't miss things like that. You might have some Phoenix Generation children yourself. Take some time off work. Just sit with them. Remember how fortunate you are that they're there. And just feel. Just sit in that neutrality. Again, you don't have to talk. <laughs> because, you know, they're regular kids. They act like regular kids. But what you're paying attention to is the, the energy coming from them. You know, some of you might find the magic in your life again through the energy of that child. So we're focusing on this. Don't dismiss it. If you're like, I don't like kids. Dang. <laughs> Really? Um, you might after this month. You might. You might. Because you might have a profound experience where a child just comes and they may just look at you. See what you feel from that. Okay? Or they might actually open their mouths and say something to you. Who knows? But anyway, keep your focus on the priorities and, and leave room for the miracles to come through. And learn how to recognize a miracle. In this case, that example I gave, that little boy was a miracle. It was during a time where I'm trying to figure out where I belong next. And this kid's like innocence, you know? Like just get back to that place of innocence where you don't have a care in the world. <laughs> it's going to be okay kind of thing. All right? So you guys are going to have a really blessed month here. I think it's going to be really good. Just remember to stay awake for it. Stay awake for it. I love you. Take care.